Hey guys, what is going on? And today I've got another movie review for you. It's been a long time since I did a movie review, but hey, it's about that time. Now I haven't really did, I did a music review, I think a couple CDs. I did an EP and I did an album review. We didn't check those out. Go check them out. I did, I believe, uh, Those Poor Bastards. I did an EP of theirs, one of their first EPs. And then I also did uh, Tim McGraw's second album. Uh, I reviewed those. So kind of a cool little thing. Tried to find some CDs, really cheap, or really uh, kind of short CDs that I can do in the hospital while I was there. And I shot those videos um, when I was 80. When did I shoot those videos? I don't remember when I shot those videos. I don't remember. Uh, I think I may have shot it when I went home at some point. I think. Did I go outside? I know I didn't go outside for those at the hospital. So I don't remember where I shot them. But I know I shot them uh, uh, very shortly after that. So I had some videos ready to go when I got home. So that was very, very cool. Um, I am going to be working on some more albums to review probably tonight at some point. Um, I might try and stay up tonight. We'll see. If not, the video thing will come back at a later date. Um, but movie reviews are mainly my main thing because I can watch movies and take care of the baby at the same time. And that's not a problem. Um, so album reviews and music reviews might kind of go away for the time being and movie reviews might kind of take the place of everything for now, uh, which is kind of like a backseat to what I really want to do with the channel, but it is what it is. But anyway, let's talk about the greatest showman on earth, I believe is what the movie is called. If not, I'll put the correct title in, in the thing above. Um, but this was a really, really good movie and, uh, my wife kind of wanted, got me into this movie and I saw the trailer and I wasn't really intrigued to begin with. But then I found out what the, the well, I kind of knew what the story was going to be about. It's about the people that started the circus for the, pretty much the most part. And, you know, P.T. Barnum, I think was the name of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I probably got that wrong. If I got it wrong, I apologize. Um, but it was about him. And I understood. It was really, really cool. The movie was kind of interesting. And it kind of, of course, they Hollywood eyes it. Uh, but um, it was really interesting. I thought it was a good movie. Uh, Hugh Jackman did a great job, and I think he sang during it. It was kind of weird when he sang. Uh, but as soon as I saw that, um, I think Zac Efron was in it, I knew it was going to be a good movie. Because Zac Efron, when he's in musicals, they're usually pretty dang good. Um, I've seen, I think, another movie with him in it that he did some musical stuff. And it was actually pretty interesting. Uh, so, yeah, when you see musicals nowadays, they're usually not that great, to be my opinion. But lately, about... You know, about half the time, musicals are not that bad lately, especially when it's for an adult audience. It's usually pretty good. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Mamma Mia. I've seen a little bit of that. I wasn't a huge fan of that. Um, so I'm not interested in the movie that's coming out soon. My, my, my wife's kind of kind of is, but I'm probably not going to watch that. Um, but The Greatest Show on Earth was really, really good. I, all the actors were wonderful, great. Um, where was the one? There was one actor that I was kind of uh, shocked by. I can't remember what it was. It was very, very intriguing. Um, yeah, definitely. I, I would recommend Greatest Showman on Earth. It's out on, I think it's out on DVD now. If not, it's getting ready to come out. Um, but you can, I know you can rent it now on digital, on digital, on demand, whatever. If it's not on DVD yet, but I'm pretty sure it's on DVD now. And Blu-ray, whatever. Um, but yeah, there you go. Check it out. I would recommend it. Zach Efron is, plays his basic sidekick. Uh, he helps run the show. Um, and Hugh Jackman is the main character in the movie. Uh, basically, you know, it's about him starting this, you know, museum uh, of oddities and things like that. Um, and then it grows from there into the circus. And you guys know what a circus is? If you don't know what a circus is, I feel like you're so deprived. And that's why it's kind of sad. Like nowadays, I don't think there's many circuses around. If you do see a circus, it's probably in small, like very, very small, intimate setting, which is not bad, but... It's kind of sad in a way. I, I remember seeing Ringling Brothers and Bailey Circus. Did I say that right? I remember seeing it one time. I went when I was younger. I believe I was eight or nine when I seen it. And I seen it in Indianapolis, Indiana, I remember. I believe it may have been at the Pepsi Coliseum, but I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. It may have been at Market Square. I, I don't know. All I remember is I've been to the circus with my father and... Uh, Someone else, I thought. I don't really know. I don't remember really much about it. It's kind of a blur, but I do remember going to the circus and seeing that 
And I remember, you know, reading the pro, reading over the program and things like that. I also remember going to a smaller circus too with my mom when I was a little older. I wasn't really into it. But now looking back, man, it's like, man, why didn't, and I enjoyed it once I got there. I was just in a very pissy mood, I guess, when I was with her. I don't think I wanted to come up and see her because I think it's one of the points where she didn't have cable. And I was really like down on my luck and mad because I couldn't have any TV to watch because I really hadn't really found my creativity yet, I think. But around that time is when I found my creativity. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get off here and probably shoot another short video uh, real quick. Um, but other than that, that's all I got to say. Catch you guys later. Bye. Keep rocking and keep on watching circus movies.